Hello Bucket Fillers, it's Carol McLeod and it's December 2017 and I'm excited to be here today and I want to thank you for giving me your time. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our upcoming book, Buckets, Dippers and Lids, Secrets to Your Happiness. I'm in the throes of working through the illustrations with Glenn Zimmer, who's the illustrator of this book. And I was reminded that 12 years ago, December 2005, I was doing the exact same thing with our first book, Have You Filled the Bucket Today? I had written the words and I was working with the illustrators to get the best pictures to show exactly what bucket dipping and bucket filling look like and how you could have a happier life by becoming a bucket filler. And I was so excited, it was my first book and I really didn't know what would happen. And now here it is, 12 years later, and I believe that I really did follow an assignment, that we've, we've, we had the perfect timing to come out a book when bully prevention was a big topic. And right now, I believe it's the perfect time for our new book to come out, Buckets, Dippers, and Lids, Secrets to Your Happiness. And, and as you can see on this one, it's not just for kids. What's especially wonderful about this book is it teaches children at a very young age really the secrets to happiness that really by being a bucket filler and by understanding that everyone has a bucket, it makes you happier when you fill buckets. And that's really the first lesson in the book, is learning how to be a bucket filler. But it also teaches children two other very important things, and that is that everyone also has a dipper, and everyone also has a lid, although many people don't know that they have a lid. Now we have dippers, and oftentimes these dippers have a mind of their own, and they sort of take off when things happen to us, or someone is mean to us, then we want to be mean right back. And when we're hurting and our bucket is empty, guess what we want to do? We want to dip in someone else's bucket. And when we understand that, we can actually give children and adults the tools to learn to self-regulate and self-control. And that's the second lesson of the book, is learning to resist the urge to dip. And the third lesson of the book is just so, so important because you can be a wonderful bucket filler and you can, you can be someone who never dips, but guess what? Your bucket can still be empty. And that's because you haven't learned to use your lid. You haven't learned that when people are mean to you, it has nothing to do with you. It really has to do with them. And I believe that these days, with so much negativity out there, that we really do need to teach our children how to deal with it. Not to keep them from it, but to build that resilience that really is there because we really do have lids if we have the wisdom and understanding and we can actually be taught this at a very young age. Now when my first book came out, it was the very first book for children that taught the concept of bucket filling and bucket dipping and now there are many and I'm so excited about that. And our new book, I don't believe there's anything in literature right now that teaches children about the lid. What's really exciting is this last weekend I went to a conference by Dr. Caroline Leaf and she speaks to adults and she understands the brain and the workings of the brain and the conference was titled The Perfect You. And at this conference she basically verified everything that we're teaching to children on a very simple level and that you don't need to be a neurologist or a psychologist to understand how our brains work and how we can control our thoughts. And I believe that this book is teaching children at a very young level the things that we need to learn to have a happier life. So I hope you will think about this. It actually is available through Amazon.com right now. It's a wonderful gift, and I believe that if we start teaching our children at those earlier ages that they will be happier, that they will be kinder, that they will learn self-control, and they will learn to deal with all the ouches in their life. So with that all close, I wish you a wonderful holiday season, whatever you and your family are celebrating. Be generous, fill some buckets, and have a wonderful, happy time. Thank you.